What is up, Forte fam? Welcome back to the home of marching fitness and lifestyle. Today, we're breaking down the four essential rhythmic patterns of jumping rope. It will transform the way you train, and I am so excited to share it with y'all. If you're new to the channel, I'm d -Rec, the marching fitness coach, and this is where you will learn how to become an athletic musician so that you can feel confident and be the example. All you need is a jump rope and a finger to tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss the weekly updates. Now, let's begin. This is one of the first concepts I teach ensembles who are learning how to jump rope. But before learning this, you must be familiar with side swings. If you're unfamiliar with side swings, I'll link up a great tutorial to it right up there. Check it out. If you already know your side swings, let's continue. Pattern three is defined as side, side, open. And this is the first pattern I teach beginners because it involves jumping over the rope one time every three beats, which is much more achievable than needing to jump over every beat. You feel me? Yeah. Follow along as we discuss the wrist positioning. Beat one is an open side swing on the dominant side. I'm right-handed, so this is on my right side and it is open because my wrists are not crossed like that. Okay, beat one, open, dominant side. From here, you'll flick the rope back, and as it passes your head, you'll bring both wrists across the body while turning both of them over to the non-dominant side, ending in a crossed position here. My dominant arm, my right, is crossed over my non-dominant arm, and this side swing is taking place on my non-dominant side. From here, you flick the rope back, and when it passes over your head, you take your lead arm, which is my dominant arm, and you open the rope so you can jump through it. Once again, that was side, crossed, open. The most common mistake I see people have learning this is they cross their wrist on both side swings. So they go to the dominant side and they cross, then the non-dominant side and they cross again. And that is possible, but it does not feel as fluid, which makes it harder to learn. So if that's you, check it out. Here's a demo starting from the set position, rope behind the back. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. While learning this, it's important to count out loud to help your mind and body understand the flow and timing of this pattern. And eventually, when you get more comfortable with it, you can replace that with rhythmic syllables like triple it. Damn it. <laughs> triple it, triple it, triple it. Or maybe you want 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a that dotted eighth note poles, did you get it? <laughs> you can also use this pattern to learn cool tricks like the EB, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three or the EB crossover, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or three sixties, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Possibilities are endless, let's go. Up next, pattern four. Pattern four is defined as side, side, open, open. The technique is the exact same as pattern three, but you add one more jump over the rope to create four beats. Check it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This pattern is great for developing an understanding of rhythmic groupings of four. Most commonly, 16th notes. Check it. One E and a two E and a. Could also be dotted eighths. One, a k and k e, one, a k and k e, ooh. Could also be half note triplet, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, mmm. <laughs> this pattern is great for establishing timing, building rhythm, and working endurance. You can hear I'm out of breath. <laughs> that was fun. While learning this pattern and all the other ones, really do your best to avoid keeping your feet flat to the ground. I see it all the time. We get side, side, and then you jump, and the feet just don't move. That, it works, but it disrupts your internal source of tempo. Instead, you want to mark time by bouncing on the balls of your feet ever so slightly. You don't need to get airborne every time, but just bounce on your platforms. So if you check out the footwork here, I'm gonna bounce, bounce, hop. Bounce, bounce, hop. Boots and cats, boots and cats. Let's go. 
Next up, pattern two. But real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please show your support for it by hitting that like button. But wait, we'll do it at the same time. I'll count you in. Get that finger ready. We got da, 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 da. There we go. That was clean. Let's go. Pattern two is defined as side open. And this technique is a little different than three and four because we only have one side swing. So we're going to remove the first side swing on the dominant side. We're gonna ax that. It's just gonna go straight into that crossed side swing on the non-dominant side. From here, you will open up and jump over the rope. Repeat the pattern. So check it, I'm swinging to my non-dominant side, which is my left side, and my right hand is crossing over the opposite wrist. As you're learning this pattern, start with a heel catch. So you get your side swing, lift the toes up, catch the rope, go onto your platforms, take the rope out, try again. This will help you work on your timing and wrist placement before you start jumping over the rope. So check this demo. We got one, two, one, two, one, two, and rhythmically, this could be eighth notes, it could be one, and two, and three, and, or it could be quarter note triplet, boom, ta goo dang, doom, cha goon dang, it could be whatever you want. This pattern generally requires the most practice, so if you don't get it right away, don't feel discouraged, you just gotta practice, you know that. And once you know it, this is a great pattern for doing southpaw double unders, looks super dope, super cool, super swag. And you know what's freaking cool is that you can combine pattern three and pattern two to make. Drum roll, please. Pattern five, which goes one, two, three, four, five. Can you see pattern three and two? We got one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So if you struggle with five, eight, this is going to help you understand how to divide that time in the odd meter. Once you unlock this, the level of fun you're going to have while training is going to exponentially increase. So be ready for it. Last up, pattern one. Pattern one is a jump over the rope every beat, which is the most physically demanding because you're jumping every time. And a lot of beginners start here, which I think is gonna set yourself up to get frustrated because you're just gonna clip the rope every time. You gotta start, stop, start, stop. What you gotta do is warm up into that kind of thing. Start with your threes, start with your threes, maybe go into some twos. And then when you're ready, we get to the ones. It's all about flow. Rhythmically, pattern one could be whatever you want. You could do the quarter note, you could go one and two, and triple it, triple it, one and two, anything you want. When it comes to training these four patterns, beginners should aim for 16 repetitions without any sort of tempo guiding you. Just see if you could do it 16 times. Once that starts to feel comfortable, you can start adding some tempo via metronome or some music, or just sit back and listen to the jump rope ASMR. It's totally up to you. These four patterns can be combined to create any rhythmic sequence you can imagine. You could do 6-8, 7-8, 13-8, and yes, even 47-32. Lastly, some quick practice tips. As you're learning this, your dominant arm will lead the movement, but I encourage you to experiment with your non-dominant arm leading the movement on the opposite side of the body. This will give you more creative freedom and opportunity to create inspiring combinations. For example, pattern three can occur with my right hand leading, right, right, or it can go on my left, left, or you can alternate it right, left right left that's the goal so you want to make sure that you're working towards that if you're ready to give these patterns a shot make sure you are setting yourself up for success by jumping with the forte athletics tempo rope this rope will get you jumping with confidence and swagger so be sure to grab yours at the link in the bio and use the code youtube 10 to save yourself some cash and start training like a champion that is all for today. It's time to go get your reps in. I'll see you next time. Ready and break. <laughs>